Ah, it's finally working. Sorry guys, it was telling me that I didn't get a connection. Sorry, I was trying to hop on. Can you see me? I'm here by myself, so you have to let me know if you can see me. Okay, you can see me. Okay, hello guys. I went to go live and then all of a sudden it's like, you don't have a connection, just kidding. <laughs> I was like, what? I was like, oh no. Uh, oh, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Hi guys, hi Nicole, hi Misty, hi Shirley, hi Carmen. Hi everybody. Oh, uh, hi Laura. You guys, I didn't even advertise for this sale this week. This has been such a, like a doo-doo week for me. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, my sale is today. And I never advertised. So we'll see who pops on. Hi, Annette. Hello, hello. Hi, Lorian. Oh, thanks, Peppers. Oh, Emma, you're watching. Hi, Emma. Missy's Emma is on here. Not my kids. Never my kids. <laughs> okay, so I have like a little update because maybe some of the people are here. So the, oh, hi, Mom. Mom couldn't um, come this time to help me. So, um, Misty's going to be helping me, you guys. So, whatever um, Misty calls, like, says the winner, we, we'll go by what she tells me, okay? So, because I don't have um, my mom here today. So, um, last week, the people that won the flashlights, I don't know if all of them are in the room. I didn't see a couple of them. But those have all been ordered, I think. One was delivered yesterday. Um... One is supposed to be delivered today. One, I, I think it says Sunday. And then one of you must live in a really rural area because it's like, hey, we'll let you know when they get it <laughs> for all the same flashlight for the same order. So everyone's flashlights have been ordered and shipped out. Hi, Nicole. Nicole North Garden, little vintage me. Hello. Oh, yes. Those are the ones I had on last week because look, guys, it matches my shirt. Look at that. Woohoo! <laughs> they match my shirt. So anyways, um, yeah, those have been ordered and they'll be delivered. Yes, you do need my shirt. It's that nice comfy material too. Not like that hard, like vintage t-shirt stuff. It's nice soft like jersey material. Um, hi Southern Mermaid. Hi Andrea. Yes, Nicole, yes. Okay, so also, um, I got, I checked my P.O. box the other day, and I actually had a couple of things, but I don't think two of the people, I'm not sure if they have an Instagram. So, I wanted to show it on here real quick and say thank you. So, one of my little gifts I got from my friend Karen. And um, Karen's in California. My hair is sticking to my lipstick. And Karen sent this really cool book. And Missy and Michael will appreciate this book. It's a book of postcards, but they made it from um, like the vintage uh, book covers. So thank you so much for sending me that. This is so cool. I love, the, oh, look at that one. For Halloween so that came to my P.O. box from Karen so thank you so much Karen and then Roberta sent me a little note and inside was this vintage postcard that's made out of wood and she said in her note that her I think it was her stepfather yeah her stepfather bought her this postcard like 20 years ago um, and I'm saying I'm thinking it's Hawaii yeah it's Hawaiian 
and she sends it to me for my collection so that was so sweet so thank you so much roberta and roberta is in pennsylvania and then my last one i wanted to share this with you guys oh hi stephanie hi connie my nose is a little bit runny because i've been yawning like all day long Whew. my next little thing that i wanted to share with you guys um michael one of my subscriber michael you guys know michael you guys are all friends with michael um i actually had a surprise box from michael he sent bianca um oh what one of those living dead dolls you know you know they made them like the halloween swords would sell them and they and they're like little porcelain dolls but they look creepy like a vampire or a witch or like a werewolf or whatever and it comes in like a casket shaped box and he sent that to her and then he sent gabriel a pokemon and then he sent my husband um a star wars like a star wars character so they all love that and he sent this great card you guys can read that <laughs> right there to yourself um he sent me this beautiful antique photo of this little girl and he tricked me he bought this and he showed me a picture and i was like oh my gosh i love that because i love these old photos and he was like wow it's a lot bigger than i thought it was gonna be and he he that little sneaky sneak he bought it for me so he sent me this so thank you so much michael i don't think he could make the sale today so um he'll see this afterwards and then michael sent this little doll like the little uh it says an antique bisque doll but it says japan on the bottom of her feet she has like movable arms she got a little bracelet on and a purple dress so he, michael sent me that and then michael sent this little perfume bottle with still with the label it's like what i tell misty like i don't find bottles with labels so especially these like older ones so i love that so i appreciate you guys um oh yeah and nicole i forgot to grab it off my thing and there's nobody here to help me um nesting haven actually sent me and i still need to show you guys but she sent me a little florida piece um the same as um l sent me something and um Oh my gosh <laughs> she changed she just changed her name someone else sent me something for my florida display it's sugar bridges sugar bridges she sent me something Ann. that's who it was yeah she sent me um they sent me little things for my florida display so i'll have to show that to you guys i don't know <laughs> in something i've been trying um to do like maybe a live haul or something like that but there's so many live people like live videos um scheduled so um i, I can't really I, I don't know what to do i can't really schedule it because i don't want to like interrupt someone else's thing that they have going on um so i was gonna say maybe during that or something or i don't know i'll show you guys um, oh, you're doing a live. Oh, Missy's doing a live haul today at four. See, I don't know. I am so behind on stuff. <sighs> my life. I'm telling you my life. Do one tonight. I don't know. Is anybody doing anything? I think I, oh, Nicole, I think you said Jeffrey wasn't doing anything today, right? You just decided that about 20 minutes ago, Missy. <laughs> oh, Hi. No, he, I didn't think he was doing it tonight. Hmm. I don't know if you guys want to see me twice in one day. <laughs> so, anyways, we'll just get started. I have, I have some stuff here that I specifically, when I was able to go out, I specifically bought it for this sale for some of the people that I know like little things, like little bits and bobs. There's not huge pieces in this sale because the last couple of weeks I've had, unfortunately, some bad luck with the mail and a couple of the bigger pieces have been broken. So I'm like, you know what? I don't want to deal with that this week. So, so a lot of the pieces are smaller. So I know you guys will appreciate that when it comes to weight. So if there's anyone new, um, because I have still a few people I haven't paid from last week, a couple of people 
claimed things and they never even emailed me. So if anyone is new, just know I'm going to show you an item. I'm going to tell you a number. Whoever is first on my person's side that's monitoring the, the chat for me, um, whoever is first, they will call you. They will tell you on the screen. You write that number down, you write the item down, and then after this, you will email me. My email is down below, but it's chapter2vintage at gmail.com. You will give me your name, your mailing address. Um, so your name, your mailing address, whoever you are on YouTube, because a lot of people have different names, and your PayPal email. So when I go to do invoicing, I have all that information, I can package up your stuff, and I can get you a shipping quote. So that's how that will work. And I usually, I know things are kind of hard right now with all the crap that's going on, so I've been a little bit more sort of lenient on the whole please pay me within 48 hours thing, but I have, um, I probably have like, like six people that um, from last week that I'm still waiting on. So I'm trying to be lenient for you, but at the same time, this is how I pay the bills. So I just, I'm gonna have to move on with some of that stuff. So just know that you guys, you whenever you get the invoice from me, I tend to like the payment within 48 hours so I can get your stuff out the door. I don't wanna hold on to your stuff. I want you to have it. Um, so yeah, and then if not, it just ends up in the next sale or I, I maybe emailed someone else that was interested. Hi, Patty. All right, so now that I've been talking for 12 minutes, we will get started. All right, so the first item I have, this is really cool, and this has taken me a long time to even get the, like, not the nerve, but, like, I didn't want to let him go. I think this is, you could use them for a planter if you wanted, but I want to say this is either, like, a cigarette holder, like a, a pack holder, or, like, uh, for a deck of cards or something, but it's this really cute doggy eating out of the bowl right here um so he's got some blue on his face but that's manufacturing that's like when they painted this they were just kind of sloppy because it's under the glaze it is made in japan so there's see how it's square like that that's what makes me think this was maybe a deck of cards or packs of cigarettes or something like that um but he is really cool he is in fantastic shape um, other than, you know, the manufacturing thing, there's no chips, cracks, or anything on this guy. But leave it to the post office to, you know, send it. Broken. But anyways, this is $15 for him, and he is number 45. So, he is really, you got me on your TV? Oh my gosh, my head's probably giant. <laughs> All right, so he is really, I, so <laughs> I didn't want to part with him, but I can't keep everything. So 15 for him, and he's number 45. Oh, yeah, so my head is probably pretty giant. All right, so she says Miss Connie Cable got number 45. Connie Cable, you got 45. And I didn't. Where's my sister when I need her to get me a basket? All right. Next item I have. Oh, I just missed the chat. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. So the next item I have is one of these tiny little creamers that I love, the little restaurant wear ones. These are the size that I really like to collect. These little tiny little guys. Um, no chips or cracks in this one. It is Shenango China from Pennsylvania. It is $6 for him and it's number 62. You could put, um, you know, toothpicks or whatever you want. I have toothpicks in one of mine actually. Oh, I know Southern Mermaid. <laughs> I know. All right, I'm just waiting. We're waiting on um, Missy, you know, because all of our things are a little bit delayed. 
Okay, so 62. And, uh, no, Annette. Annette Miller, we got you for 62. Kind of spoiled having my mom here helping me. <laughs> Alright, the next item I have is this cutie little girl right here. She's a single salt shaker. She doesn't have her little mate or anything like that. She does have the cork still stuck up, stuck up her butt. <laughs> oh my God. All right. All right. She's like, so I use these as figurines, you know? <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> I don't know. Anyways. Um, yeah. I use these as figurines. So this one, she's $8. And she's number 42. Doesn't she though? She looks like... Oh, <laughs> that's me all week. <laughs> all week long. That's my face. Like, like, come on, really? <laughs> so, she is $8, number 42. I don't know. I don't know if Misty called anything. I can only see like two at a time. Okay, Connie Cable got number 42. That's basically the premise of this sale. I'm going to have a lot of little things like that. So I hope you guys like the littles. I do have two kind of bigger things, but nothing like I was shipping last week. Last week was a lot of work. All right, so the next thing I have is this strawberry wheelbarrow, like cookie jar. Um, I did see on this side, on the bag, there's a little um, nick in the paint. And on the top right there, it's like like they just didn't get paint right there or something. So, it's just a little wheelbarrow strawberry cookie thing. It is $12 and it's number 33 Oh, my shirt. Well, my shirt, um, mom, there, you guys are asking about my shirt. I wanted to order this one as an example, um, to make sure it looked okay first. And I will set that to go live. So like, say you go to one of my videos and right below towards L Brinkley, you won number 33, right down below the video, you'll see a little strip and it'll show you like t-shirts and stuff. Um, that's where it's going to be where it, when it goes live. So you'll be able to find it. I'll probably post it on Instagram and like stuff like that. So you guys <clears throat> can know if you want to go over there. But um, that's where like in my videos you'll see like I have other merch and other shirts and stuff that are listed right down below. Um, and it takes you to a um, like an off-site website where they ship from. They ship my shirts from there. So... Anyways, so L. Brinkley, you got the strawberry one. I don't have the shirts in-house. It's a company that once you get to like a certain point on YouTube, you get a certain amount of subscribers. I'm spitting everywhere. The, um, YouTube opens up certain options for you, and one of them is to have like your own little t-shirts and stuff made. So you make very little on them. So I do make a little bit like, I mean like a little bit, like $3. Um, but because I try and mark them lower. I could mark them up like super duper high. I can do that and make like <laughs> 10 or $15 a shirt, but I don't. Um, so I don't keep them in house. So when you order that company will actually ship them to you directly. So I don't get to see. So, oh, show my shirt. It's this one. Mm -hmm. Can you guys see? It's a it's an antique image of a leopard and I just love it. All right, so we'll move on. The next thing I have for you guys is this really cute, really cute, sorry mom, this adorable, 
uh, made in Japan. He's a donkey ashtray. And his thing actually looks like a toilet seat to put your butts out in. Your cigarettes. He's so cute. Darn it. He's adorable. <laughs> it says ashes right there. I just need to wipe him off. Um, there's a little paint missing right there on his neck. Yeah, hit your butts. <laughs> Fat birds. Um, he's cold painted, so um, if you guys don't know what that is, that's when they paint a lot of the color on the outside of the of the glaze, or it doesn't have a glaze on top of it, or, you know, however you want to look at that. So, I know, girl, me either. It's a funny word. So, anyways, this is no chips or cracks or anything. I got to say that. Um, $12 for this Butts Japan Ashtray. <laughs> And it's number 37. And it's got a luster wear. It's really cool. It's got the original. It's really dirty. I got to clean it. You know, they actually used it, I think. Laura Bemos, you got number 37. Thank you. I appreciate it. I do, I do. The next item I have are these little cutie pies. Now, these are from 2004, so they're not really vintage yet. But, oh my gosh, look how cute they are. It's got a little bit of wax in them. i got to scrape them out. But they're little um, candle holders, these little ghosties. And the pumpkins that are trying to be mummies <laughs> so there's no tri trips there's no trips there's no chips or cracks on this pair they are $12 for the pair and it's number five look at that face Oh gosh, I'm touching my hair. All the haters about my hair are going to say something. Not you guys, just afterwards. Debbie Gray got you for number five. Got you for number five. I need some more lip gloss. Excuse me. Un momento. <laughs> All right, the next thing I have is how many of you guys... Oh, okay. <laughs> How many of you guys um, like um, vintage um, office supplies? I know I do. This is in working order, so it works. It is a vintage um, swing line cub, so like a miniature, like teal stapler. And it works. Um, I had a, oh look you guys. Did you guys see this on Instagram? I was able to get them kind of clean. These, I think they're antique. Little pillow covers that were hand stitched. Oh, thank you, mom. Thank you. But they're hand stitched. Wait, hold on. Here, let me find, oh look. Look at the butterfly. I think they were, um, anyways, I got them clean. I wanted to tell you because I asked you guys for help and they look good. Anyways, back to the stapler. <laughs> so this is $8 for this little guy and it's number 50. That's what I was doing. I was moving these to find a piece of paper to show you that it works. Yeah, it's really cool, right? Like. Mad Men. Mm -mm -mm. I love this thing. Boop, boop, boop. It's so delayed. I'm, I'm, I miss having someone here. Okay. Um, was that Kylie Cat S number fifty? Oh, Kylie Cat. I saw you in Michelle's sale yesterday. So if you're new and didn't hear my how to pay and rule explanation type thing. It's at the beginning of the video. My friend. Alrighty. Next thing I have, you guys, tell me if I'm right. Isn't this a spoon holder? 
I swear this is a spoon holder. I was trying to remember and tell my mom what this was. Okay, good. Okay, spoon holder. I thought so. And I was like, you know, they had something for everything. They had like everything, you know. They even had like, you, you can rinse your fingers and stuff. So it's really nice. Hold on, let me see what it says on the bottom. It, oh, we couldn't read it. That's what it was. It looks like it says Western Germany, not West Germany. Made in Western Germany. And then it looks like it, says, <clears throat> it has another little mark and it says Bavaria. So this is $12. It has a little, lust, not luster. That's not the right word, Alex. See, that's where edit needs to be an option. <laughs> um, transferware. And all the gold is really nice. That is just something that needs to, like, sticky that needs to come off. But anyways, um, $12 and it's number 13. Yeah, there you go. $12, number 13. I mean, I don't know who wants to, like, some people still, you know, use this type of thing or collects them. But let me know. I don't, I, Missy, all the things are gone so I can... I have certain piles, like a sold pile and a not sold pile. So let me know if anybody claimed it. <laughs> Too fancy for your house? Right? But they're so pretty. Mm, yeah. Okay, so nobody was interested in this one. Yeah. It is, or you can use it like a spoon rest, you know, when you're like stir, stirring something and you need something to set it on. Oh, thank you. Listen, thrifty, to be completely honest with every one of you right now, I didn't even brush it. I just took it out of my hair tie. <laughs> I didn't even brush my hair today. So, that is a, that sums up my week. I didn't even brush my hair. I'm sure a lot of you know that feeling. All right, the next item I have, Misty, you might want to turn away because I think it's a clown. It is actually a bell. He's really cute. He, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he has, um, okay, hold on, is that? Yep, it's the same thing. Okay, so when they painted his hat, they were a little messy, and they got some paint right here. But you see the little metal? It's the same way as the, uh, the little donkey butt ashtray. It's a clown demon bell, but he's awesome. How cool would he be in a Halloween display? Pennywise. Anyways, <laughs> there's no chips or cracks. He's got a little, little dingler doohickey thing in there. And um, it is number, wait, no, $8, number 14. Clown snowman. <laughs> but, oh, come on. Like, Tina would probably love this from a Vision and Vintage Co. Oh, wait. Vintage? No, there's another one. That, yeah. Vision and Vintage Co. He looks dead. He might be. <laughs> He's awesome. I think he'd be cool. Oh, yeah. Nesting Haven, she lives right by freaking Stephen King. By his house and stuff. Well, I don't know if it's right by, but she can get to it a lot quicker than I can. And they have some cool stuff in their town. So, oh, Joanne Baber, you got this, my dear. I'm sorry if it feels like it's taken a while, but I can't. I'm trying to, like, catch up with Misty. All right, the next thing I have is this really awesome cat. Actually, um, Bianca picked this. Um, cool, terrifying. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Bianca picked this Siamese cat. He is stamped Japan. Hold on, let me move this here. 
and he's got the little laurel no is that a laurel kind of like a wreath um with a shamrock not a four leaf clover a shamrock on the inside of his foot so for those of you guys that know that mark i think that's a pretty like common thing there is um right there you could tell that that is in their manufacturing um as well as again they had some sloppy painters because that's under the glaze hi karen hi <laughs> anyways he's really cute he's twelve dollars and he's a lot bigger than the other um like for example this girl and then the cat a lot bigger twelve dollars and it's number four if you guys like Siamese cats. I love him. He's got, again, I think this is like a manufacturing thing, maybe a little thing on his ear, but still love him. I had a cat when I was a kid. His name was Oscar, if I remember right, mom. He was a Siamese cat, right? He was so cool. He would um, go in the shower with you and stuff. <laughs> Misty, who got that? Okay, Helen Casey, you got number four. I got it. Yeah, yeah, Oscar. He was cool. All right. The next thing I have, and oh my gosh, I didn't want to put this in the sale. I just got this. Like, I was telling my mom, I'm like, I kind of want to, like, put him on my own shelf. Um, but I can't can't do it I can't keep it all so look how cute this guy is look at him oh my gosh it's it was probably um because it's kind of small it was probably like a stick pin type thing he could have been a really small bud vase high mid-century wasted but look how cute he is oh my gosh <laughs> his paint is fantastic there's no chips or cracks the only thing is there's a little wear to the gold, which makes me, like, like he got a lot of use on the top, you know? Like, whether it was a lady's stick pin thing or a vase. So, some of that gold is worn off. It's stamped Japan on the bottom. He is $10, and he's number three. Look at his face. Oh, I just, oh, I was talking to my mom, like, I can't, yeah, it's a pig. I was like, I don't know. Look at his little pink tush. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love him. He's so cute. I love these things. The little Japan figurines. I just, in the Occupy Japan ones, I love them. Lori Kiltsky. You won number three. Lori, you are... I don't know if you're familiar to me. It doesn't ring a bell. So um, if you scroll up a bit in the chats, Misty put the um, like how to pay information in there just so you know. And it's also at the beginning of the video. So Lori, you got number three for $10. All right. The next thing I have is this cutie little cat here. And he's, he's bigger. Um, so here's him compared to the girl. And then here's him compared like to the vase. He's a bigger one. Yeah, it looks like Simba, right? Um, he is Japan right there. I hate the forward facing fa camera on this phone. And it's stamped with something else there. The last three letters are E-I-S-S. -S. So if you guys know that marking when you when you find it stamped on Japan pieces, the last three letters are E-I-S-S. -S. Weiss? Or I don't know. With a copyright. But anyways, he's not broken. He's no chips, cracks, or repairs. He's really nice. Um, he does. Is that underneath his thing? Again, well, should they got some sloppy painters. They were probably painting his nose and they got a little bit of stuff. Maybe, maybe that, Missy. I can't see the other letters because it's cut off by his foot. <laughs> but, okay, so anyways, he's a little bit bigger. He's $8 and he's number two. Look 
curious. Kind of waiting for what Missy says. Oh, he asked if I was sleeping beauty. Oh my gosh. What's your what's your nephew's name? Missy, you gotta tell me who won that so I can call it. I didn't see. Holden. Hi Holden. Hi buddy. I'm like just standing here, la 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 la. Oh, she said Laura Bemos. Okay, Laura, you won the the cat. Sorry, I didn't see it. Okay, good, cool. Thank you guys. Good looking out, you guys. Good looking out. Oh, he said hi back. Oh. <laughs> All right. So the next thing I have is like, this is like it's tiny. It's a little teapot. It. I don't know for certain, certain. It's like cloisonne, or if it's like say '80s cloisonne, but. <laughs> Um, it's got the little birds. I just pulled this actually out of my own collection because there was something on the table that I wanted to keep. So I like switched it out because I can't keep everything. So I let something go. So this was one of my little things that was in my little knickknack shelf. They look like flamingos. They're black and pink. So something like that. But it has, it's got a little thing on the top here. It's like enameled, you know, like cloisonne is. Um, it's not marked. It is five dollars, and it's number twenty-seven. Let me see. Oh yeah, thank you. <laughs> oh, Superwoman. Yeah, Stephanie. That's what my mom and I. If you guys want to see my mom in like a young picture, go over to my Instagram and on Father's Day, I showed a picture of her. Um, and for her like entire life, my entire life so far anyway, um, Shirley Pearl, you got number 27. We've always heard that we look like Linda Carter. So I've gotten that and I've gotten, yeah, Wonder Woman. I've gotten um, Lisa Marie Presley, but when she had dark hair, cause you know, it's just the dark hair, light eyes um, combination that makes people say that. <laughs> okay. Next thing I have is, I don't know what kind of dog this is. I need to learn my aminals. <laughs> So someone will know the dog. Um, it says Japan on the bottom right there. He's never been like broken or repaired or anything. Oh, you thought Lisa Marie? Yeah, I hear that. Oh, thank you guys. So oh, maybe, I don't know. I don't know dogs. So, but he's really cute. So his paint is okay. Nothing, no broken legs. I noticed a broken leg on something in the middle of a video last time when someone claimed it and I just sent it to him for free. I'm like, I'm sorry, just take the little thing. Um, but he's good. He's in good shape. He's $8, made in Japan, and he's number 21. Yeah, I, I, I was trying to find little things uh, for you guys when I went out and about like little figurines because I know I love them especially when people get like this is the one I think you were asking about Nicole North Garden Nicole these figurines oh my gosh I love these Connie Cable you won number 21 you won the doggy I actually have another one but anyways um, these are the ones I love so I love seeing these in this particular style like this like mid-century version of her um, but this is the January angel. She's all chipped and broken, but I always save the broken ones, you know? I just do. Oh, hi, D. Are you on? D, I'm just a rambling. 
All right, next item. Should get a hair tie. What was I thinking? Or if I had a pencil or something. All right. Next item. Are you guys ready for him? I should have, I didn't have him to do him in the last sale. But he would be really cool in upcoming, like, well, no, there's nothing more upcoming, is there? Like a patriotic sort of holiday. Other than Labor Day. I was born on Labor Day, fun fact. Yep. Literally born on Labor Day. My very first birthday, Hurricane Elena hit Florida. So that kind of sucked. <sighs> but anyways. Except... Mm, no, that year, September 3rd. That's my birthday. Little vintage me. That's my birthday. September 3rd. Oh, girl. We got the same birthday. Awesome. All right. So anyways, back to this guy. Look how cute he is. My sister, she was born. We had like, oh my gosh, that year, we had like freaking... Four hurricanes that summer. Like, back to back to back. It was crazy. Anyways, look how cute he is. He, this one is made in Japan. He actually has 10 cents marked on the bottom of him. Really cute. Isn't he great? He would have been so cute for, like, 4th of July, Memorial Day, you know. I don't know. Super cute. Yes, that's what I say. And my mom always tells me you need to think something else because that's annoying me. <laughs> I try. I try. So anyways, he is $8 and he's number 23. $8, number 23. Look at him. Misty girl. I see you bidding. <laughs> hey, Michelle. Oh, that's cool, D. That's similar to Bianca. Bianca, um, well, she was born 1213, but at 1212 in the afternoon. So that's pretty cool. Okay, Missy, I'm going to set him with your other thing that I'm going to send you. He's got a little pudgy little face. Okay, the next thing I have, and I'm already, I'm been, <laughs> I have quite a few more things and I've been on here forever. Oh, okay. I have, these are technically vintage now. They are creations, wait, Isabella de something. Bor Borchegrave, Grave, I don't know, something like that. Um, they're technically vintage now, these roosters. You know, I don't know. So, there's nothing on the bottom. If it was, I think it might be a creamer. If you put like milk or something in here, this is your handle, and you maybe pour it out his mouth. So, I think that's cool. And that's not paint loss. Those are little, they gave him little, like, cheeks. Except there is a little bit of, a, like, a speck that come out of his cheek right there. So, really cute little guy. And, like I said, it signs by the maker on the bottom. Oh, congratulations, Michelle. One more and you'll have 500. You guys, go check Michelle out. If you guys don't know who she is, Comfy Cozy Living, um, she finds some cool stuff. She does live sales as well. You guys can go over and subscribe to her channel. She's awesome. She's a sweetheart. So anyways, back to this. I keep getting sidetracked because I like talking to you guys. I was in a kind of a crappy mood and you guys have cheered me up a little bit. So, um, anyways, this is $10, and it's number 30 for the rooster creamer. And look, his little, little, whatever that is, gobble thingy is fine. His tail was never broken. He's in good shape. Oh, that's what it is? His comb? Has he got a comb over? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I'm just waiting to see if anybody calls this item. Okay, yeah, I'm waiting. I'm just like, waiting. 
no gobble that's what i say gobble thingy oh. listen save it for the end okay nobody called it good thank you mom thank you misty you guys are fantastic you're fantabulous that's a new another word another word okay thrift you i got an elephant are you still here sam likes elephants come on samantha where are you Joanne was number 30. Is there something I missed? Or are you just telling someone that? Oh, your friend had a baby yesterday? That's sweet. Oh, what was the number on the rooster? Um, number 30. Evan, oh yeah, Evan does like elephants too. Okay, well, we should have a bidding war. No, I'm kidding. I wouldn't do that to you. All right. <laughs> Here's this little, oh, Joanne, you want the rooster? Okay. I thought I had another one. I do, Joanne. He's different colors, but I have another one. Same price, different colors. Okay, so back to the elephant. Look at her little face. He's just blue. Congratulations, Michelle. Oh, she's so excited. She woke up talking to me about it. She's like, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. But there's a little guy, he's like got a little white on the back. He has a little stamp on his behind that says Japan. He's just so cute, a little baby. He's $8 and he's number 29. Just a little baby. Michelle's gonna be there in no time. She's a sweetheart. Oh, you guys all like elephants. Well, I didn't know that elephants are cute. Especially the babies. They're cute. I'm not gonna lie. All right, so I'm just waiting to see. Ooh. I tried. Michelle, you won the elephant. Are you sure? Michelle, elephant. Because I knew there was something else you were waiting for. Michelle got a sneak peek and she is waiting for something. All right. All right. So the next item I have, this doesn't have any markings at all. So he could be like freaking Polish pottery. I mean, he could be anything. He could be made in Japan, just had a sticker. I don't know. But he's a blue and white cat. Very interesting. I'm trying to move his little thing here. A little blue and white cat. What are we oh my godding? Is this something that I need to know about? I think it's cool. Alright, so again, his tail is never broken. He has all his appendages. He's good. He's eight dollars and he's number twenty. talking about any cute I never seen a blue Siamese cat you guys like all the little figurines I don't always get lucky and find them but I happen to have been saving some up and I was like I'm just gonna do it all right Laura Bemos you got the kitty cat Laura you're gonna have to show us some of your collections girl All right, I have another doggy. This one is a little, a little littler. <laughs> a little littler. All right, he's kind of similar to the other guy. Does he not look like that other dog or is he different? I don't know. He has a little bit of paint missing on his little nose. Man, I need to wash the dishes, but I hope I don't the keyboard. Oh, don't ruin the keyboard. He is made in Japan on his tummy. He's just a littler guy. So, like, like it'd be like, here's the mama, and here's the baby. 
So that one is six dollars and he is number 24. Oh, hi, Francis. Hello. Connie Cable, you won number 24. That was quick. Woo, I'm already getting emails. Yay. Okay. Next figurine I have. This one is like one of my favorites. This one, like in my haul videos where I asked you guys, tell me what your favorite item was. This one was the popular one in this, that particular video. But look at the baby with the bunny. Oh my gosh. Look at his little butt. He's got the little diaper clip on the back of his pants. He's so cute. And the bunny is like textured. He's a doll. He is marked made in Japan and has some kind of little symbol right there. It is... Ten dollars, and it's number nineteen. Look at that face, and he's got all of his things. No broken ears. The flowers are there. He looks good. Okay. April Fool, you won number 19. You're not familiar to me, darling, so you're going to have to maybe go back to the watch the front of the video or um, scroll up through the chats and see, like, the rules and stuff and how to pay. Um, if you do know, that's fantastic. But you're not familiar to me, so just be aware of that. All right, next item. This one I think is really cool. Um, these are the kinds of things that I like. These little odds and ends and things that I have in my house. This is actually a brass horse head for a cane. So I would like stick this up in my house. Yours are bringing out Halloween? What, what are you talking about, Nicole? Like regular stores or like thrift store? I've not been to like a store store but anyways he's a really cool horse head goodwill oh gosh i haven't been to goodwill in a few weeks i should go one day one of these days i don't live super duper close anyways he is ten dollars for the brass horse head and he's number 18. this is another thing that reminds me like of karina or tina and they would like make something like and use this as the head that's what that reminds me of. Or you can just put it on your cane. See, I have, Nicole, I have two Goodwills. One is like 20 minutes south of me, and the other one's like 30 minutes north of me where I live, and that's it. If I still lived in my old area, Joanne Bieber, you won the horse head cane. I would have had like probably four or five of them, depending on what the cities I drove around to. Oh gosh. Oh, I've been talking an hour. Hmm. All right. <sighs> Next thing I have. Okay, so you guys know, and I'm not even going to say the name, what that is. <laughs> this was, I'm guessing, a perfume bottle. I don't think it was a snuff bottle because that's too way too tiny. So I'm guessing this is an older glass perfume bottle. How old? Not super duper duper old because it has plastic on the inside there. You know, it's not like early 18 or early 1800s, early 1900s or late 1800s or anything like that. Um, maybe mid-century. Anyways, um, it does have a little roughness right here on this corner. But if any of you guys collect these little things, um, what? I did wrong. 
Oh, had frog be gone <laughs> in it. Okay, um, but that's it. You can see like bubbles in the glass and stuff. It's really cool. So this is eight dollars, and it's number sixty-one. Eight dollars, number sixty-one. Ooh, frog parts. Why are we talking about frog parts? No. Hi, Rita. Okay, I'm just waiting to see. Shirley Pearl, Miss Shirley. You won number 61. Dirty frogs. I didn't see. Oh, mm -mm. no, sir. Listen. Oh, my gosh. If you guys... My mom was here last weekend and my garden out front, my little like flower bed, I have, what are those? They're Mexican petunias. So they're like thick and they, they're huge and you know, they spread. And I'm like filling up water because my mom's like, Alex, you need to water your flowers. So I'm filling up water from the water thing and I'm like, oh my God, Jenna. And she's like, what? She thought like, she even moved like something was gonna fall on her head or something. And there's this like giant toad, like, sleeping in my thing and I go those are the ones that go on my porch I'm telling you they pay they play chicken with you you're trying to go like past them and then they like hop on you and stuff it's so gross and then they eat like the cat food and it's just gross I don't like them and it's like it was like this big no it wasn't no cute little green little tree frog no 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 gross I about like ran into traffic. <laughs> no. All right. That was my story. Next thing I have is this little guy. He might have been a little toothpick holder or something. Um, that's about all I can think of with him. I don't know. But he's cute. Look at the little cheekies. He's got some serious eyebrows though. They're kind of kind of like mine. <laughs> So he's made in Japan on the bottom. Really cool little guy there. He is $8 and he's number 28. That would be a really small air plant, Misty. That's kind of small. That's why I suggest the toothpicks. He's so cute. Look at him. His little curl right there. I'm just reading. Oh, mm -mm. all right. Who, Misty? Did you just win that? You just called yourself. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna put it with your stuff. Oh yeah, there's alligators, but listen, and frogs. You can see an alligator coming, you know? All right, so here is another little dog. He's little freckled dog. He's got little specks and stuff on him. I don't know what kind of dog he is. He is made in Japan. And his ears look like they're, they like might've been chipped, but they're not. They're like, still, they still have the paint and everything on them. So. He's a good little size. He's about the same size as the other one. He's $6 and he's number 25. Look at that little face. He's a little thing. I so awkwardly stare at the camera to see if I can see who Missy, if anybody calls it. I don't think anybody called it. Where's my pile of stuff that nobody wanted? Oh, crap. Oh, right there. Anybody call that? You're going to move to Florida? Oh, no. Don't do that. Okay. Nobody wanted that one. Good. Okay, cool. Just like seeing what you guys are saying so I know. Yeah, I only got two things, Mom. Wait, you want the dog. Nicole, you want the dog? 
Are you sure? Nicole North Garden. It's number 25. Okay. <laughs> I want that dog. Okay, girl, listen, number 25. <laughs> okay, Nicole North Garden, we got you for the little puppy. Yeah, I'm a good girl. Listen, yeah, don't come here. You don't want to be here. Uh, not in the summer anyway. Not in the summer. The summer is horrible. But I'm sure, you know, a lot of states have like horrible weather too. It's just so sticky. Just here, turn your shower to like the hottest possible setting. Let your, let your bath, or you gotta make sure you cover that door. Like cover that door with a towel. Don't let any of that air escape, okay? You sit there with all your clothes on in there. Give it maybe an hour, an hour and a half. And that's what we feel like 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That's the best I can give you. Unless you have access to a sauna, then go sit in there with your clothes on because that's what we feel like all the time. All right, next. This one was a hard sell for me too because I love little redware figurines. A little penguin. Who likes penguins? A penguin with a top hat, no less. He does, he had some gold paint, but it's a little worn. I think he was a pen holder, I think. He held something, what, what did that say? Oh, she just moved to Indiana. Listen, you need to convince Aaron. That's who you need to talk to, not me. <laughs> Anyways, so the little penguin, he's redware. My favorite is the black paint, the black paint. I love them. So this guy is um, $8 and he's number 35. Right, the, Pat, the Batman penguin. I say the same thing. $8, number 35. He would be cool in a Halloween thing. Wouldn't he though? Because he looks like he's got a little tuxedo on. You know, he's like dressed up. The penguin's dressed up for Halloween. And you could probably have something coming out. Yeah, see? Andrea Joseph. You won the penguino. All right, mom, did my attitude cheer up? My mom knows I was in a bad mood. Fat birds, Missy, Michelle, am I a little happier? You guys make me happy. Yes, okay, cool. Okay, good, 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 okay. Just making sure. <laughs> All right. The next thing I have are these little fruit thingies, guys. You guys remember these from a video? I don't know what they're supposed to be for. Someone suggested maybe, um, I think they said wasabi or something. I don't know. They're just little dishes. But they're, they have this little hollow thing right there on the back. Okay. Hi, Joanne. Oh, thanks. Thank you, guys. No, they're not big enough for tea bags, Michelle. Like, literally. Look how, I mean, they're like the size of my thumb. They're teeny tiny. But they're so cute. So you got, I tried to call this a pineapple last time, but I'm pretty sure that's a pear. <laughs> and an orange. It has a little bit of missing paint. And then we got the grapes. And they're Stamp Japan. And this one actually has the sticker. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, the set of three is $6 and it's number 38. They're really cute. You could hang them. Like, that's why I was saying it has the little thing where you could hang. All right, seeing what Misty says. Misty's internet is a lot faster than my mom's. My mom will write down what she says for me and stuff, but Misty's got to call it. Laura Bemos, you won number 38. My mom probably has like a thousand orders today. 
Did I say hi to Joanne? Hi, Joanne. I just saw you. All right, next item. He was a couple of sales back, and I don't think anyone ever paid for him. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I did. I don't think anybody paid for it. So I'm going to put him back in. It's the little mouse that looks a little tipsy on his little mouse beer. I don't know. He's got some flowers. He's got a lot of things going on. He's got a bow tie. He kind of reminds me of like a Cinderella mouse, but then he doesn't because he's got beer. I mean, like, I don't know. He's whimsical. His Stamp Japan on the bottom. He's not broken or anything like that. He's $8 and he's number 39. He is happy. <laughs> yeah, right? Like Alice in Wonderland, something fairy tale esque. He's got his little wash rag. All right, so maybe, oh. Dumbo's mouse? Yeah, maybe. I feel like I need more lip gloss. I talk too much. No, this is just cheap ass lip gloss. <laughs> Sandy, oh wait, four Sandy's lilacs. You got number 39. Woohoo! Hi, Sandy. Rescuers down under. They have a mouse named Bianca. All right, next item I have. I have this cutie little guy. He is a toothpick holder. Toothpicks came in it. See him? He'd be cool for Halloween too. Look at that. He is like a like an airbrush paint. He's got some red beady eyes, that's for sure. So he I don't he's not marked that I see anywhere. He might have had a sticker at some point. He's eight dollars. He's not broken or chipped. His paint's still really nice. And he's number fifty six. I think it'd be cool for Halloween. See, then when I, t I give you these ideas, and I'm just like, well, dang it. <laughs> like, I could have done it too. <laughs> but I can't keep it all. All right, waiting for Misty Girl. Oh, Lori Ann Sugar Britches, you won number 56. Next thing I have is this fantastic brass lion. It's a smaller one size my hand I mean he's like impossible to break so what can I say about him I'm using my phone yeah what's the matter what happened Michelle yes I'm using my phone Michelle so anyways I got this lion it is eight dollars and he's number 22 but I think I know what you mean Michelle so I'll that or she wants to see if I'm gonna show she probably got something to do and she wants to see that thing she knows about she's probably gonna have to battle quite a few folks I was really bad this week about like posting stuff on Instagram I just was not a good week for me I usually post like sneak peeks so you guys can see. Oh, okay. Naughty frogs. Pam's eclectic place. Pam, you're new to me as well, my girl. So you'll have to check. You got number 22, but you'll have to check on how to pay and stuff like that. It's at the beginning of the email or up in the chat if you scroll up. Oh my god, we're over an hour. Holy crap, and I still have a bunch of stuff to show. Oh, you guys, you guys. Just say, Alex, be quiet, keep going. <laughs> Next thing I have is this really cool planter. This little boy with the sheep. I can't help so to not watch the clock. I can't, like, because I don't want to be like, 
people be like, oh my God, it's two hours and she's still talking. Oh my God, it's two and a half hours and she's still talking. <laughs> so anyways, I can't help it. But it's got some crazy, oh, you can't see it on my freaking phone. And on the inside, you can see like a little tiny, looks like a crack, but it's not on the outside. So it's superficial. But his paint is fantastic. You love the way I talk to you? Eh, some people don't. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're right, Nicole. Listen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so it has a marking on the bottom that's numbered like this. And like I said, it's a planter. It's a really good size. Here, let me show in comparison to my, my hand. He's a good size. He is $17 and he's number 46. Yeah, you are right. $17, number 46. Look at your boy. Okay, so I'm just waiting to see if that was anyone. Oh wait, oh wait, no, Nicole wanted that. That's why it's not there. I don't think anybody called that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, next thing I have, I think this is more modern. Misty Kalexi, so she might know. If you look at this little rooster guy, he looks like he's a uh, pie bird. But in my, I have a book about like kitchen collectibles and so someone told me the same thing that's in my book that the uh the part on the bottom is usually a little bit smaller so it doesn't destroy the pie so i don't know if he's made to look like one if he's a more modern one i don't know but he in he is a pie bird i just don't know if he is a one that you actually use or you just decorate with i don't know but he's a rooster pie bird Rooster pie bird. So he's modern, but he is pie bird. Okay. So if anybody's interested, Missy sent me my first pie bird and he's on my shelf. Um, this is $8 and he's not chipped or cracked or anything. His paint is still really good. That looks cracky, but that's not, it's like how they painted it. It's under the glaze. Um, he's uh, $8 and he's number 59. Hi, bird rooster. <laughs> Joanne Baber, you got number fifty nine. Show Shirley number 46. Oh, it's this planter. It's a pretty big one. It's um, got numbers on the bottom, but I want to say it's Japan. But it has numbers like how like, like Lefton or someone like that would number them. So no planters for you. <laughs> She's like, listen, I'm all full. So yeah, but that was number 46. All right, then we have, these are signed and they're still freaking filled with salt and pepper. So I'll have to shake those out. <sighs> Laura, you should have seen me shaking out the salt from your salt shakers that you won last week. Like I, you asked my sister, I must have spent like five minutes over the trash because I didn't want a chance breaking the cork thingy on the bottom, but I got it out. But anyways, it's these, um, oh gosh, manatee. I was like, wait, no, is that a manatee? That's sad, Alex, you're in Florida. You should know better. Oh, I don't know, what the hell is this? Is it a manatee? <laughs> okay, okay, that's what I had in my head. And then I said it out loud and I'm like, wait, no, I don't think so. <laughs> um, anyways, 
They are signed Ross on the bottom. And they're really nice. They're like, you know, modern, but they're still really nice. And I didn't price them. So where's my sticker? Where's my tape? There it is. I already know what they're gonna be. I just I have to make up a number. We'll say, I can't say it out loud. All right, since these are a signed pair, they're $12 and it's number 82 and you got the pepper that comes out that side. There is some, a little bit of crazing on these, so be, know that. And then you got this that comes out of his little beak right there. They're really neat. This would have looked good in my Florida display. We have manatees like everywhere. I mean, it's they're illegal to touch, though. You can't touch them. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. So, anyways, okay. Be yes, beak. I Listen, that's what, that you have to know my husband. That's what he calls, like, our nose. He'll be like, here, here's a tissue for your beak. Or if your arm hurts, he'll be like, oh, you poor flipper. That's how my husband is. <laughs> anyways, okay. Mm, who won these? I don't know. I need to put them down. I need to. You say beak too? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, and I'm like waiting here, just staring like an idiot. <laughs> okay, Lucid, my mom says you won these. Number 82. Okay, so now I can put them down because I look like an idiot just staring at the phone. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, guys. Awesome. All right. I'm going to show you these. These I think are stunning. And this is one of my items that is a little bit more up there in price. Generally, I show you guys things. I might have like a $20 item in there once in a while, but I like to show you guys like little smaller things because you know, this is an eBay. So I like to show you guys things on a lower, you know, price threshold. But these are one thing that's a little bit up there, but I think they're stunning. These bookends, they are, gosh, they must be like a, I don't know. I don't know if they're, I think they're wood. And they have this nice paint over them. Because when you hit, hit them together, not hit them together, but you know what I mean, like, they, you know, they don't sound like glass. And they don't sound like plastic, so I think they're wood with a really stunning glaze. Some kind of pretty overlay. But they have like a old sticker right there. They have some stuff that people put on the bottom. And in my video, there was like, what kind of animal is this? Nobody knew if it was like a zebra because of this thing on the back. Some people were saying horse, some people said deer, I don't know. But anyways, it's 35 for the pair. And it's number 60. 35 for the pair and it's number 60. These are like, if you like mid-century stuff, to me that's what the animal screams. I don't know. We were trying to figure the animal out. We, <laughs> nobody knows. So. D <laughs> she said Debra. Zebra. <laughs> so yeah. Number 60 is $35. I think I still have these listed in my shop. So either way, you know. Oh, I don't know. I'm bad with animals. I need to go back to kindergarten with that stuff. All right. The next thing I have are these little naked ladies. Little naked lady statues. These are really cool, especially if you do... Um, like altered art I don't think they're oh they say Japan they are stamped Japan on the back right there I have two of them they're eight dollars <sighs> wait how am I gonna do that because they're sold separately 
Okay, wait. They're not, I'm not going to do them two different numbers. I'm going to do one number, but I have two of them. And the first two people that wants them can, will win. Okay, so $8, number 52, for the, the ladies. Yeah, first two people. Yeah, I thought to myself, wait a minute, that won't work. <laughs> it's not often I have two of the same exact thing. So if anybody likes those ladies, number 52, $8. No, nobody likes the naked ladies. Oh, well, I think I have somebody. For one of them, at least. I just have to make sure because my screen and my mom's screen was totally different last week and that thing went crazy. Sandy for, or wait, four Sandy's Lilacs. Got you for number 52. All right. Next thing I have is this. Do you see this little cutie? It's a smaller one. It is in really nice shape. I mean, really nice. little tape dispenser it is i don't see anybody excited you guys are like you're not excited about a scotch tape dispenser what people am i talking to all right <laughs> it's six dollars and it's number 36. maybe you were having your fingers ready no that's what it was nobody wanted to talk <laughs> Oh, both ladies for Sandy. Oh, okay. That's what it was. I should know better. Yeah, I should know better. I thought you weren't excited. Okay, so who wins? Is this scotch? Bye. Oh, Vicki Haney. Okay, Miss Vicki, you are not familiar to me. So make sure, bye Amy, whoever is leaving, um, make sure you go to the beginning of the video, has the like rules for payment and how to do all that, the instructions, and also you can go up in the, oh, Amy Crawford, bye Amy. There you go, Misty sent it to you. She's got that copy and pasted. Is the same tin you, uh, you are putting on eBay. Yeah, this was the one that I was going to put on eBay, but these, they don't go for much. So that's why I stuck them in here. <laughs> yeah, I have your address. Yep. I, I, that's why I tell you guys, I try and look things up. Um, some people email me and ask me if I'm going to sell this or that. And I don't know which platform I'm going to sell it on because I haven't looked it up. And when I did look these up, there's a lot of love for them, but they don't sell for very much. So I suck it in my sale. All right, the next thing I have are, look at that. This is like Siamese cat day. Any milk glass? Nope. What? I sent you a journal. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me go back and see. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yes. I know who you are, Miss Vicky. Okay. All right. All right. So here, that my got I got everything. Okay. So here are these Siamese cat. They're actually napkin holders, and they're by Lego Japan. Can't see those, but they're a set of four. No, no pink flamingos. I keep those. This guy right here has a little chip on the top of his ear. That's the only thing I really see a problem with, with them, really. But they're really cute. You could take the little bows off if you wanted. So the set of four is $12, and it's number 55. Oh, 
Oh, you know what? Just so you know, I'm just looking at this one from the side. And this one looks like it might have been glued back on at some point in his life. Like it might have been glued back on. So, anyways, the set of four for $12. I've seen things on Pinterest that for Christmas people have like cat themed um, decor and trees and stuff like that. And that's what this reminds me of with the little red ribbon. Like someone probably decorated with like cat stuff for Christmas. All right, so we'll put that on the, in the did not sell pile. All right, next thing I have are these beautiful blue. Now these are pressed glass. Though some areas feel a little more pointy than other, but I'm pretty sure they're pressed glass. Salt and pepper shakers, they're the, like a pretty aqua color. They're so nice. And they have, they have very little wear. Usually these are all tore up from like the salt and weather and stuff, but it's very, it's so minor. And on the inside, they kind of look like that, you know, like it's from the salt, you know, you can't really do much about it. You can tell which shaker had salt in it, see? So anyways, they're not marked, but they're in really good shape. They're $12 for the set, and it's number 53. What? That was Gabriel. All right, I would, while I wait for Misty, I'm gonna see what you guys are talking about. <laughs> Gosh, I love all things pink flamingos, Florida palm trees. Yeah, I love pink flamingos too. I hardly find them though here in Florida. And when I do, they're expensive. Joanne Baber, you want number 53. Well, I have a couple flamingos. Yeah, and I only kept them because I found the whole set. If you guys didn't see that haul video, the whole set of them for like $4.95. I think there's like three or four of them. I couldn't believe it. I was like, is this a joke? If someone got me on like candid camera, like I couldn't believe it. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Alex. Okay. Do they sell blue flam flamingo stuff? Does who sell blue flamingo stuff? You can have these right here if you're Oh, thank you for my scissors from my desk. Do I place. live near the beach? Not really anymore. They have places in this area that they call a beach, but I'm used to living like next to Madeira Beach, St. Pete Beach, Clearwater yeah, Beach. Like an hour away. Yeah, it's like an hour away now. So if I, this, what they have up here, like as a beach, is not a beach. And I know you guys would be like, oh my gosh, but I'm not, I don't really like the beach. <laughs> you love the sassy way it listen yeah mm -hmm. i look at my kids you know you're not alone um are they only pink flamingos well generally flamingos flamingos are actually white so you'll see a lot of white flamingos and they eat um a certain kind of like shellfish that turns their feathers pink that's why you'll see some are more um pink than others some are more white but as a blue flamingo Never seen one. Um, blah, 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 blah. Beach looks pretty, but the sand is gritty. Yep. You are missing the ocean breeze. Pfft. It doesn't, the wind doesn't blow here in Florida. No. All right, so the next item I have. <laughs> The wind doesn't blow here. What What wind? What are you talking about? What breeze? The next thing I have are these cute little guys. Now, it looks like his wing was attached right there, but that's not. That's like a gold, like whatever they were using to decorate his wings. Oh, Gabriel opened the door, and I could smell the wonderful. I have like a fall. I think it's like it's a wax melt. Apple harvest or something going on right now. 
Yeah, on the beach, okay, maybe the wind blows, but not in Florida. No, this, I was about to cuss. It, no, you won't, a leaf doesn't move, unless it's going to rain or something. There's no breeze. But anyways, back to these guys. Little, um, wait, vintage thrifted treasures. Laura, no, I see your comment. You are not being blocked, my friend. Nope, I see you. Anyways, back to this guy. He is, it's Stamp Japan on the bottom there. It's $12 for this candle holder and it's number 54. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I love this thing. It's so nice. Like no wings are broken off and they have their hands and stuff. No, Laura, I see you. I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I have blocked certain people that, you know, I'm not even going to bring it up on live, but <laughs> I have blocked certain people that I know have been saying some stuff, but unless I know that you're one of them, you have not been blocked from my channel. You are here, my friend. So there you are. Missy, let me know if anybody got these. No, I see you. Yes, Laura. I don't know what happened. I don't know. Um, vintage thrifted treasures. Nope. 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 Wait. Who's got this? Tell me. Yes. Shady lion mofos get blocked. Number 54. Ann Dallas. Miss Ann. I think Misty just, um, yes, Connie. Connie, I see you. I don't see, I don't get to see everyone because on my screen on lives I only see like three messages at a time and they, they disappear that's why I have to like scroll back up so Ann Dallas Misty will copy and paste because you don't seem familiar to me though you might be I don't know I'm sorry I can't remember everybody I wish I could I wish I had George's memory then I could remember everybody but she'll post the the how to pay rules and stuff Oh, wait, that's what I was doing. That's what I was doing. Yes, there she goes. She's got it. She's got it. The next item I have for you guys is this Pepti, 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 Pepsi Collectors Series. Uh, Mr. Steel, you three. Oh, yeah, three hair. Yep, you're the one that sent me my thing. So yeah, we got this Pepsi Collector Series, Walt Disney Productions, Minnie Mouse mug. Her paint is awesome. Usually these things are chipped off or they have so much dishwasher damage. Um, it's not dated, this one, and I forget when I looked it up. But they are oven proof, made in the USA, anchor hawking, um, $8, number 47. Yeah, the Florida Journal, I know. Mm -hmm. I have it on my coffee table. The kids and stuff look at it all the time. I have yours and um, Michelle's on my coffee table. Yep, I love it. All right, so I'm just, yes, I do. Yeah, I love it, especially the maps and stuff. Shirley Pearl, you want number 47. All right, the next thing I have, okay. This is an older rooster. Now, the other roosters I showed you is vintage, but like 2000 vintage. This one is older because it has the mark like, like Lefton would have or something. You know, it's a little older. I will tell you that his beak was glued back on. I noticed that, but they did a pretty good job. So his beak was glued back on, but he's a bigger, pretty rooster. Great color green. Hi guys. Hi Leather and Jade. Wait, let me see. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know what you guys are talking about, but hi. 
Oh, hey, Dalton. Dalton's my metal detecting buddy. So, anyways, got this rooster. He's uh, $10 and it's number 57. $10, number 57. Just now, like I said, his little beak was glued back on. You can feel it more than you could see it. That's what caught my attention. It's pretty good, but you can kind of feel on the side. Yeah, I, yeah, Michelle at Mermaid Co. I do have a metal detecting channel. I just haven't posted on it in probably a year now trying to um I don't have a lot of time to go out and detect and stuff so oh yeah a waddle there you go I was gonna say a gobbler but that's like that's what I call a thing on a turkey <laughs> who got this one so I can put him down awkwardly staring at the camera again hi Rebecca No, it's not linked to my other channel. It's not anything I really advertise. Joanne Peterman, you won number 57. Missy, can you repaste that thing, the rules and stuff? Because jo Miss Joanne's not familiar to me. So she'll show you, talk to you about the rules. Oh, is it a snood? Oh, well, look at you. I got to catch up on my turkey waddler lingo. All right, the next thing I have is this beautiful um, what is it? Clock. It is a clock. What? What does that say? Does your earrings have lion heads? Yes, they do. See that? Aren't those fabulous? I love lions. Lion heads. I love Art Deco stuff. And some Art Deco use like cheetahs and leopards and stuff, and I love it. I bought an old metal detector for my boys to try. It's actually for me, but they can follow behind me. Yes! Good. Just make sure you look up where you can dig if you go somewhere public. You don't want to get arrested. All right, so you got this cuckoo clock. It's a wall pocket. It is. It has a patent number on it. It says made in Japan, and it actually has its little thingies right here. It is uh, $15 and it's number 17. Most of them don't have these anymore. <sighs> I don't know, I hear crickets. What are you guys doing? The number, Miss Shirley, it was number 17 for $15. Oh, crickets only, listen, no, <laughs> crickets are over here too. Okay, I hear, no, I don't want to hear frogs. I was going to say I hear frogs, no. Miss Shirley, you got it. Okay, I wasn't going to sell this one either because I love birds and I love the luster wear and the birds. Oh. I love it. So. All right. So, okay. These are really cute. These are little wormy guys. Look at the little happy faces. These are ceramic. Okay. I did a haul video and someone was like, oh, you know, those are kind of um, like, like, um, well, junky, basically. So. You're gonna be hearing frogs. I'm gonna keep you keep. No, you're not. But you, what? What are you talking about, Miss Shirley? But anyways, these little worms. People were saying they were like junky. Like, oh, I wouldn't have bought those. Um. Uh, 
Oh, and yeah. Yeah, the heat out there. Mm -hmm. But anyways, I was showing, actually I was showing Nesting Haven, Nicole, this vintage cookbook that I bought. Yeah. Yeah, they did. They say all kinds of stuff to me, Nicole. <laughs> all kinds of stuff. Um, so I bought a vintage cookbook. And in the cookbook, should I get the cookbook and show you what I'm talking about? I'll get it. One second. It's right over here. All right. So this is a little sneak peek. Um, Nicole, both Nicole's, Nesting Haven and North Garden, and Erin, and I think Jamie, and I forget who else, did their little cooking series. And then I was like, oh my gosh, now I want a vintage cookbook because that would be cool to try with the kids. So I go to the antique store and I find this for a dollar, this boys and girls cookbook. And in the cookbook, block people who say rude things. Mm. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. They say all sorts of crap. But anyways, we're gonna try some of these beverages here. Look how delicious those look, right? But when I was looking in here, and I know it's a cookbook and I'm talking about worms, they show like in their, um, let me find an example. So you see like their little, uh, like their little background accessories, how they display stuff. Um, so on one of the pages, I'm looking and I was like, oh, I gotta find it. Come on, where are you? Come on, sucker. There you are. So I go to one of the pages and look what I see. The little worms. Just a different paint job. So they're not junk they're pretty cool actually this book is from 1965 so i thought that that was really cool and i had to show um nesting haven because she, you know she loves cookbooks and i wanted to get that because they've like made me want one and then i saw the little wormies in there so so mama to you who said they were junk anyways they're $8 for the pair, and they're number 31. That's <laughs> slimy from Sesame Street. They would look cute in plants. These little wormies are famous. Yep, they're very cute. I thought they were cute. I like different things. Lesta, Lesta Fitzpatrick, you won the Wormies. Number 31. You won them, my friend. You won them. Okay, next thing I have. This is an 80s game. Who are some 80s children? Maybe not 80s babies. See, like, I'm an 80s baby. So my childhood that I can really clearly remember is the early 90s, you know? So some 80s kids, okay? This game, this game, Piglets, I was born in 84, you know, so I can remember things around like, say like 89, like little bits and pieces, but more 90s. So anyways, it is marked 1987 and what they are, they're in really good shape. They're these little piggies and you're supposed to be able to learn how to juggle. And it says instructions, instructions included, but they're not. But we have YouTube these days. You don't need the, that. But these are really cool. Um, so, and they're, I mean, they're in their original box. Really neat. So they are $8 for the game. How fun for the kids, right? I mean, they might knock your crap over, but <laughs> $8. And they're, it's number 58. Oh, you guys. Well, my analytics do say that my age group of people that like to watch me 
um, are between like 40 and like I think it was like 45 and 60 something so I don't have a lot of people my age or younger that like to watch me sadly but um, I don't know if there's much of a love for vintage for that age group I think they'd be a special people Joanne Bieber you won number 58 58 did I say 58 yeah 58 all right we're getting to it guys we're getting to it so here's my other rooster creamer that's a different color see the pinks we're a special people yeah <laughs> See, yeah, see you guys, that, my analytics are right, right? Like, YouTube says it correctly. That's fine, I don't care. I'm just saying I don't have younger crowd that watches me. Oh, you're 21? Oh, you go, girl. You go, girl, loving you some vintage stuff. Learn it now. 29, yeah. Look, see y'all, you're making me feel old. <laughs> All right, so this is the second creamer. And I love your name. Is it Jeannie or Jean? Or it could be, hey, it could be Jean. However you want it. Miss Draper. I love your last name. So anyways, um, this one, it's different colors. It's number, no, it's $10 and it's number 34. So you'd put the milk here. And you're supposed to hold its tail to pour the milk out. Number 34, $10. But I love the pink on him. So I'm going to wait and see what Miss, Miss Misty says. Oh, who's, whose birthday is today? Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Cindy. I didn't get to see. Okay, Chris Bounds, you won 35. Chris, you're not familiar to me, my friend. There you go. Misty just posted that information right there. It'll tell you, well, you don't see it right there, but I do. It'll tell you how to pay, okay? Yes, you know what? My son's birthday is this month, Gabriel's birthday, and my husband's birthday. Actually, and Dee's birthday. I'm pr Wait, isn't Dee... D, are you still here? I think she's either on my son, on my husband's birthday or the day after. But anyways, I'll continue. So the next item I have, oh yes, you're still here. D, aren't you um, the 20th or the 19th? I know I'm close. Oh, the 20th, yeah, you're the day after my husband and you're right before Gabriel. All right, you guys got some July birthdays. Yes, Chris. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, mine's the first. Oh, well, happy birthday. Lots of birthdays. We have this little hand-painted little creamer. Oh, Miss Shirley, your birthday's coming too? Oh, my goodness. Lots of birthdays. This one is hand-painted. It's not signed or anything. It's just, it's like, it's just this little darling little thing. Look, mom, I said darling. Is that better? <laughs> this little creamer. Um, so, eh, there's not really much more to say. It has a little bit of crazing. There's no chips or cracks or anything. I don't feel anything. It's $8 and it's number 15. Right? That's what I was saying. A bunch of people are going to be born pretty soon I love this this would be a cute little planter or something if you wanted to use it for that or if you guys make candles or anything you can always use these too you can um well there's a couple of ways you could do it you can you okay there's lots of videos and this is me getting off on a thing but just so you know oh lucid you won number 15 for eight dollars um Lots of, there's lots of videos that'll show you that you can burn like the end of your wax on your candles. 
um, like at Bath and Body Works candles and stuff, and you can make those into wax melts. But really, that's not a thing because at the bottom of the candles, it's safety wax. So you're not going to get the same smell that you got at the beginning of the candle. So what I was going to say is you can either burn down candles or buy like, like say for example, one at Walmart or something that you like the smell of. You can either put it on a, like a coffee mug warmer and it will melt it and you can take the wick out and glue it into the new thing. Or you can put the candle itself into boiling water and it will melt it. And then you can put it into the new thing. So all these little vessels, you can make like new little candle holders and stuff. And some people will be like, like, oh no, don't do that. But then again, you can always melt the wax from here and get it out, you know? So that's an idea too. Not everything has to be a planter. <laughs> all right, the next thing I have is this made in Japan lighter, not lighter. It's not a lighter. It's a cigarette, um, I think. I don't know if it's necessarily an ashtray. It might be just an ashtray or you could have put your cigarette pack and left your cigarette or your cigar. Just so you guys, if you guys don't know, some of these that are fatter held cigars. It was a cigar ashtray and the thinner ones are for um, cigarettes. So anyways, you got these little, I don't know something, how that her little face was painted or, oh, you just see a little piece of her hair or something. I don't know. It's a luster wear made in japan this is really cool i love it it is what's my right 16 or is that a 10 i think it's a 16. 12 dollars and it's number 16. $12. 12 dollars number 16. Nope, nothing on that? Okay, I'll keep going. Got a few more figurines. Cigar ashtray. Oh no, you broke it? Oh crap. I'm sorry. All right, I have this little doggy. I don't know what kind of dog that is either. <laughs> Clearly, I was not brought up a dog person. Yep, that's what I do that too. Oh, a Frenchie? Okay. A bulldog, right? French bulldog? Is that what that is? So it's marked Japan. Nothing is broken. His tail's still there. His ears were never glued back on. He's $8 and he's number 32. Alright, and then I have another thing. Oh, did Southern Mermaid win? Let's see, let's see, let's see. I have to go by what Misty says. Oh, okay, Southern Mermaid did win. You know, my feet are hurting standing in these sandals. I just got about an inch shorter. I'm a shrimp anyway. All right, the next thing I have, I have to go like get back taller again. Oh, well. Next thing I have, this was in a haul video, okay? This is hand painted. It is very beautiful. It is a different part of our history though, because it is a fake. It is fake Nippon. This mark right here, the laurel with the hourglass is fake. Are you going to sell the linens that I showed? I want to sell the linens that I showed, but I still have no idea what to put them at. I have no idea because some of the piece is coming off and yeah i don't know i don't know what to put it at i was thinking about taking those so she's asking for those of you that did not see she's asking about these linens and that's what i was going to say mom i was thinking about taking these and you guys i showed you guys this rolling pin that was a wedding gift that has all the inscriptions on it i was thinking that i would put them in auction this weekend and then you guys, um, you guys can place your bids there because I honestly, I don't know what they would be worth, you know, like I've never seen or sold anything like that. So I can list them today. Um, you know, like after the video, I can take some pictures or whatever, 
and um, you guys can go over there because I have no idea. So anyways, back to the fake. Do it, how do you want me to bid now? I don't know. I don't have a timer. Misty, do you, I don't know. If, if I did it here, I didn't, I don't have a timer. Okay, Misty has a timer. Okay, so this is what we'll do then. If you guys wanna do it now, because a lot of people said do it now. So let me just show you though, so you know. I think these were supposed to be pillow covers. They're hand stitched. They do have some damage right here. See like this came off. Um, okay, I'm gonna give her a second, but we'll still sh I'll still show you this. This is a heart shape. You know, it's got all this, like, I think that's, what is that, embroidery? I don't know, butterflies. I mean, someone took a lot of time to do that. And then the other one still has some yellowing. These were, if you go to my Instagram, they were yellow, like, smoker's house yellow, you know? Because I've gone to some estate sales and I've gotten some, like, I've taken pictures off the wall and you can tell you know, when people smoke in their home. I mean, to each their own, but you could tell. But, so we got these like, Im look at that, like look at this. I love that. So it's another like little pillow. So that's a little pillow case. And then, um, I'm just waiting for Misty. So this, it doesn't, what did I wash them in? I just soaked them in a little bit of OxyClean and plain water. I didn't scrub them, I let them sit, and then I just rinsed them out. Um, that was the recommendations from you guys, like as a census, as a whole, on Instagram, um, so that it didn't make the colors bleed and it wouldn't hurt the material. So then I have this that you can like, you know, beat your neighbor with or something. But anyways, um, it has some cool things on here. Like this one says, don't bruise Tony this color, and it's like pointed at here. It has, I, I think, I don't know if you saw this haul video either, but it has a lot of Italian last names. And I picked a last name that was interesting to me. And I was looking it up and I found it in a, um, like a census record from the 1940s in New York. So that would make sense on how these things were written, like the wording. And no, this is, what are you talking about? A pledge. Hold on. Let me see. Oh, okay. Okay. You guys are talking about cleaning stuff. Okay. So, um, this was a wedding gift and you have, it says Georgette on one side and then Tony on the other side. And you have like all these little things written, but nobody wrote a date. So I don't know when it was like when their wedding was. Um, like may all your troubles be little like people don't write stuff like that anymore or the best to a sweet gal and a swell guy when you get tired and Tony gets cross use this to show him who's boss the rolling pin uh, my wish, my wish, and may you both throw many a happy year to be each other ever more, more dear. So I think it's older. So, I mean, I really think it's cool. I really think it's neat. So if you guys want to do it, an auction style on here, we can, we can make it happen. And we'll give you a minute and whoever has the highest bid is a minute good 60 seconds good missy this will be the first time i've tried this so we'll see how this goes you guys 
Yes, okay, so we're gonna do it for 60 seconds, you guys. This, do the pillows first, okay. So we'll start the set at $6, and Misty, you tell them when to go because you are you are timing it. So Misty will tell you guys when to start, and you have 60 seconds. It starts at $6, whoever's the higher one will win at the end of the 60 seconds. I'm done talking. You go ahead, Misty. I'll just show them. Look at that. That would be nice. <laughs> I was I knew that was an accident. <laughs> They're really pretty. Come on you guys, come on you guys. Bid, bid, bid. Look how beautiful. We'll see how this works. This is the first time I've tried it this way. We'll just go with what Misty says. Yeah, okay. That would work. I should I'll say that next time. Okay, Misty said stop. Now I need another drink. All right, we're gonna see what Misty says. Shirley Pearl won. All right, so I'm gonna give this a number. Um, you run these for $8.90, Miss Shirley. And we'll say it's number 98. $8.90. That was pretty cool, you guys. But I think that you guys are right to be like, maybe, um, I don't, what do you think, Misty? Dollar increments or 50 cent increments? You know, like if I started at six and someone goes to 650 or seven or eight or, you know, like that. 50 cent increments, okay. The consensus is good. So now, do you guys, is there any, first of all, before I try this one, is there anyone interested in the rolling pin? If not, it's gonna go on eBay. All right, so, oh, I guess I need to make it another number. We're gonna make this. Okay, don't call the number. I'm just giving it a number, okay? Don't call the number, because it's gonna be in the bidding. Just so you know, like, what to put in the email. So it's number 99. So write that down in case whoever wins, you know, can write it down. So, all right, Misty, are you ready? I'm going to start this guy at $12, just a little $12. I think it is worth much more than $12. So I hope I'm not effing myself, <laughs> to put it nicely, uh, but I think it's great. So Misty, Whenever you're ready, you tell them when to start. 50 cent increments, and it starts at $12. The opening bid is $12. J. 
She said, start. Go, people, go. And look at the handwriting. I think that's old. I'm telling you. Yeah, that's what it's for. Mermaid. I'm telling you. Ugh. I just love it. Make sure honey behaves, it says. I think it's pretty darn old. Look at that, eBay in real time. Oh, Missy said stop. No one dated it. No, they didn't. Isn't that sad? That's why I was trying to look it up. But there's a lot of Italian names on here. Okay, mid-century wasted. My girl, you won this for $23. Really cool. You won number 99 for $23. So write that down. Very cool. Very cool, you guys. All right, so I have, okay, you know what? Do you wanna try that again for these? And I'll drop the price, of course. Do you wanna try that again for these? Okay, so what I'll do, I know I told you guys 35 for these, but I'll be cool and I'll drop them to a starting of $15, so half the price. These I think are made of, I think they're wood. I mean, listen, I think that's wood. If you guys wanna do it for these, I would start them at $15. If not, we'll move on to the last few little figurines I have and then we'll call it a day. So you guys, okay, am I, am I, is that a yes? I'm hearing wow, cool. All right. Isn't that obnoxious when people do that? Sorry. <laughs> All right. So here they are. Bookends. Very mid-century vibe. Missy will tell you guys when to start. The opening bid is $15. 50 cent increments. You know, not like 1501, 1502, 1503. So go ahead, Missy. You're, you're good to go. Opening bid's $15. Boy, this wing in it thing is pretty fun. Start bidding, you guys. You have one minute. Very cool. Oops, let me show the bottom. I feel like Vanna White. <laughs> I should play that. Yeah, I have them for more in my shop, but nobody's buying them. So I figured I would offer them to you guys. Any other takers? Any other takers? Oh, Misty said stop. She will let us know. And then I will tell you the number again because he's already had a number. Joanne Baber, you won them for 30. Well, you still got them for a deal. Number 60, Joanne. 
Number 60, you got for $30. I changed the price. So I don't forget. What happened? Oh, wait, okay, hold on. Missy, check that again. My mom and someone else saw something, saw somebody else as a winner. It's hard for me to see. So double check that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, just let me know. I might do some live haul videos. Okay, Missy's checking. I need some more lip gloss. See, this stuff is so cheap. Wait, 32 bid was after the timer went off. Okay. You got that, guys? The 32 came after she said stop. After the timer went off. That's why, I mean, I wish I had like one you guys could hear over here. So maybe if we do that again, um, I will do one that, I don't know, someone could see or something. Oh yeah, Misty's live at four. I keep forgetting that. So is that good? Is everybody okay? Do you, do you get that it went off like no hard feelings type of thing after she called that? I don't want anybody to be upset. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, some of the things I take from my eBay or Etsy and I leave them there until like people actually pay for their stuff because I don't want to have to pay to relist it if I take it down and then nobody ended up paying me because it happens a lot. <laughs> so, all right, so we got those. And then, you know what? I was going to put these in the sale, but I never priced them because I didn't know, I didn't look them up to see how much they were worth. So they're like, wait a minute. They're little huggy kissy guys. He's got some missing lips right there. So if you guys want to play the game again, for these guys, it's they're signed on the bottom. Do you guys want to play the game? Yeah, he's been kissing too long. <laughs> For this. Hello, California thrifter. Listen, girl, I'm still talking. I'm still rambling on here. If not, I can, like, I don't know, add these to my next sale. I just didn't have, you know, a value. But I can continue. I was talking to you guys about this. I have a few items um, listed, or listed, left. eBay on my brain. All right, so the next item I have were these. And remember I was telling you guys, these are actually fake. <laughs> They're beautiful, and there's actually people that collect them because they hold their place in our history as being fake it's like collecting old coins um when you collect old coins especially like in the 1700s they were faked a lot i don't know how much i would start them probably at six dollars i didn't know like a value of the salt and pepper shakers uh i saw them in my book and i didn't get a chance to look them up so but I was asking if you guys wanted to do an auction for the salt and pepper shakers. But anyways, let me talk about this first so I can um, get through this. So they are hand painted and stuff. But anyways, like I, I was saying, the old coins from like the 1700s, they were faked like until the end of time they were faked. But to own um, a counterfeit coin is a part of history. And... I would totally own one to, you know, to know, like, that's what happened in your history. So anyways, that's what these companies did. So even though it's beautiful, it is fake Nippon. Um, it's $12 for the set. Nevertheless, it's still a hand-painted teacup and saucer. And it's number 49. I 
forget the name of this pattern. Wild Rose or something, I forget. So, $12 and it's number 49. I think they're beautiful. Oh, I, for, I, for, oh, I forget, it's Wild something. The name of these. I looked them up a couple weeks ago. They are pretty. They are really pretty. All right. Okay, Laura Bemos, you won number 49. Okay, so now we'll move on to these guys. Missy, if you're ready, we'll start. These are not like chipped or cracked or anything. Um, they don't have their stoppers though. Um, I don't know what that just said. I don't know. I don't know who you're talking to. Oh, okay, you're not talking to me. All right, so anyways, they're, they have, like, their sign down here. They don't have their stoppers, though, so just know that. And he's missing a little bit on his little lips. So, Misty is ready. The, oh, wait, hold on. Let me show you this on his foot. He's got this going on on his foot. It's a little, I can feel a little something. Like, I don't know, a little little crack in the porcelain or the ceramic but it's it's little and it's on the little like the edge maybe he was sat down too hard so opening bid six dollars you have 60 seconds um 50 cent increments whenever misty says go you can start His butt's just a little dirty. Okay, she said go. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Go, go, go. They're so cute. Aren't they like, oh, I don't wanna ask you guys a question to break your concentration. <laughs> I love their little blush cheekies. Look at this hat. I love that. Oh, okay. Misty said stop. Miss Shirley Pearl, you won the shakers at $20. They're so cute. And I wasn't even going to put them in today's sale because I was like, I don't know what someone would pay for it. Well, you just never know, do you? Okay, so let me give them a number. Hold on. Hold your bridges. And $20. All right, number 101. Miss Shirley Pearl for $20. Bones. Oh, bye, Nicole. Thank you for stopping by. I know I've been on here for a minute. For 139 minutes. Hold your sugar britches. <laughs> All right. So the last couple of things I have before the things that didn't sell. Oh, wait, I forgot I had this guy over here. I have this. I have this thing. This is, here's the lid. It's got a mirror. You can see yourselves. And then it's got this glass insert that you can take out and wash. 
and it's got gold. It's very Hollywood Regency. It's a little powder box. Really cute. You saw yourself? <laughs> it is $12 and it's number one. It's very Hollywood Regency. <laughs> that would stick out like a sore thumb. That's the kind of stuff I have in my house, so it wouldn't stick out. Teresa Faulkner, you got number one. Ooh, see if that'll stay. You got number one. Um, Misty, post the information because um, Teresa is not familiar to me, so she knows how to pay. Yes, you're supposed to film with your phone sideways. All right, the next item I have is, these are handmade. These little cherub babies, these little angel babies, they have a little thing in the back and they're signed. They're just little handmade pieces. They would look really cute in like a gallery wall or something like that. You get this set of them for $6 and it's number 40. I have this like little thing with angels, little angel babies. <laughs> like, you know, like um, Laura and Selena from um, The Recycled Life, how she loves like gaudy angel babies. That's like me too. <laughs> so, Miss, you'll let me know who won those. I love those girls. Oh, D, you're still with us. Girl, you're, you're hanging out for my 141 minutes. Three more things and then I have the stuff that didn't sell. Okay, Rita, what, Naragon, you won number 40. Rita, you aren't familiar, you kind of are and kind of aren't to me either. So make sure you guys are checking out the, you just found Recycle Life? Oh, those girls are great. I was just chatting with um, Selena the other day they're awesome all right the next item I have is this little mousy guy made in Japan some of his red is I think it was um it's an apron so his little straps were supposed to be painted red and then you can see it right here his little apron and that's about it mark Japan on the back he is eight dollars and he's number 31 no he's not bleeding <laughs> he um they would have they took paint you know like you could do that too you can fix it with your own paint and you can fix his little apron so let's see i don't know what you said oh the little hugging boy you mean the salt and pepper shakers yeah, as a little girl. So was that a no-go? I don't think anybody called him this little fella with his fat little cheekies. All right, the next guy I have is this. This is a single salt shaker, and he looks like he's holding a bird to me. He looks like he's got a bird. I don't know. Yeah, a koala or a mouse. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. It has a puffy tail on the back, like a puffy thing. So anyways, this one's actually occupied Japan. And he is a single shaker, but like I tell you guys, you use these for like little figurines in your little knickknack shelves. I follow people on Instagram that do that and I love them. But anyways, this little guy is $8. He's number 43. He does have crazing, but his paint is great. He's a little dirty, I gotta wipe him off, but he's fabulous. He looks a little perturbed, but like he, he looks like he's got that bird like roped up, like it was naughty. And he was like, listen here, sucker, you poop on me one more time, it's lights out for you. He's angry. So, number 43, $8 for the Occupied Japan boy. No, nothing for them? Okay, 
we'll move on. The last little thing I have, no, he is not amused at all. The bird, yes, the bird probably just poo-pooed right on him. Is this fanciful guy here, he's got himself something in, in his hand or something, I don't know. He's another Occupy Japan piece. He is not a salt shaker, but he's, yeah, it's fancy pants man. But there's like little balls or something. I don't know if they did that in the making of him. There's like little puffy balls in there. Um, he is $8 and he's number 44. So he's very like 1700s in his dress. He would have had the white wig. But yeah, he has little puffy balls. <laughs> so he's number 44 and he's eight dollars. And that is all I have other than the things, the couple things that didn't sell. <sighs> I don't know if you guys have the patience for me to circle back. Take a long trip back. I haven't lost very many people, so that's not too bad. Look, I was going to put this in the, the sale as well, but I just can't. I'm like, I don't know if I could part with you yet. It's signed and it's dated like 1924. <gasps> I love that piece. Oh my gosh. Okay. Things that didn't sell. We have this spoon rest. Oh, that's a good idea. Auction them off. That's a good idea. Misty, that's what I should do. What's because you love me? Well, it's because you love me, Laura. Oh, that you didn't leave. Oh, well, I appreciate it. I mean, I know people have, like, ish to do, you know. It's Y'all have a life. Listen. Not life. You are having a love affair with it. With what? Um, I'm ready, but I have to leave. What, the, what time is it? How the hell, how the heck long have I been on here? Oh, yeah. I am. I don't know what time it is. I don't have a clock. Okay, Missy, I only have um, four things. Okay? So 60 seconds times four is four minutes. And we we shall be good. Okay? Is that good? Oh, it's 3.30? Wait, Eastern. Eastern is what I need. You said you have to leave at 3.30, Missy? Oh, nuggets. Oh, 350, 350, 350. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so we have this spoon rest, okay? And I'm gonna start the auction at $4. Starting at $4, Misty will tell you when to start if you are interested and wait for Misty to tell you to go. 50 cent increments, 60 seconds. Start bidding. She said go. Starts at $4 if anyone's interested. I had it at 12 so it starts at 4 If anyone wants to be fancy for $4 or $5, it's getting better. Or $10. You can be fancy for $10, Shirley Pearl. <laughs> it's a spoon rest. Um, I was going to call you Misty. You are not Misty. D, it's a spoon rest. You would lay your spoons in there. Yeah, it says, actually it says made in Western Germany and then it says Bavaria on it. It has both markings. Yeah, it can hold your, uh, maybe it could. I don't know. The heat might eventually like crack it. But yeah, it's to hold silverware. All right. Anybody else? Anybody else? Missy's going to tell you when to stop. Okay. She said stop. She'll let me know so I can change the price on here. This was number 13, Misty. So, do you let me know? Oh, I lost like 10 people. <laughs> Shirley Pearl, you want it for $10. Oh, you got it on sale. Miss Shirley, $10 for number 13. All right, you guys ready for the next item? I have the lot of Siamese cat napkin holders. I'm gonna start this one at $4. 50 cent increments, you have 60 seconds. 
to bid starts at four dollars Misty will tell you when to go remember one of them looks like it's been glued back on I mean it's on on but it looks like it's been glued back on start bidding she said they're by Lego one of them has a little chip on the back of its ear but they're these cute little cat napkin rings here let me hold like two of them up that's easier to show you for the people that weren't here it's got a little that's just a little paint wear you could take the bows off if you wanted I think they were added on anyway All right, I'm going to wait for me see. Ooh, I lost more people. Oh well. Last time I did a giveaway and they didn't get to participate because they left the room. All right, I'm just waiting for my girl Misty. I cannot believe it's 3:30. Oh my god, longest video ever. All right, she said stop. Let me know. Okay, bye, bye, Deke. Girl, you're a trooper. All you guys. Let's, I've been on here a little minute. Oh, oh, good, Kylie Cat. Hopefully you had fun. Pam's Eclectic Place. Won them for $5. You go, girl. Let me just cha change the price here so I know. And it's number 55 for five dollars by D all right and the last thing I have was this um, ashtray and I will start it at eight dollars and Missy will tell you when to go bye bye guys this is my last item I have, and then we can all go and be on about our day. Pay attention, because she'll tell you when to start. Start bidding, she said. We're almost done. This is the last thing I have. Starts at $8. 50 cent increments. $8. For the ashtray. You have 60 seconds. Looks like Miss Shirley Pearl might get another deal. Oh, thanks, Southern Mermaid. Shirley, you're going to win. I'm, I have, I feel it in my bones. I feel it in my bones. Oh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, give me a thumbs up. That'd be cool. <laughs> and leave a comment. That'd be nice, too. I don't get... I hardly get any comments on my dang videos anymore. I, I was like watching Dee's video and she's got like 150 and I see mine, I got like nine. Oh, okay, everybody stop. Let me know who the winner is and I'll, I can change the price. Going to change auction, maybe. Oh, thank you. Yes, hopefully they do. Do the planter. What planter, Mom? Oh, yeah, the planter. Shirley Pearl, you won this guy for $11. Number 16, Shirley Pearl, $11. I guess it wasn't the last thing. If you want to, hi, Nate. If you want to stay on for a second and you guys want to try for the planter, do you want to try for the planter? Is anybody saying yes? Oh, thanks, California Thrifter. Sure, okay. So I'll start the planner at $8, okay? 
I know I had it a little higher, <laughs> but I'll start it at $8. This is the planter here. It has the sheep. Now this is really my last item. I don't have anything else. So here's the planter. It has some crazing. There's no chips or cracks or anything. The paint is still amazing. And Misty will tell you to go. It starts, you have 60 seconds. There you go. She told you. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not making her late. This is the guy that I didn't want to sell, but I do it. He's so sweet. Oh, okay. It's just 14 minutes. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's why she's got to go. Golly, I've been talking forever. I am so sorry. Oh, my gosh. Oh, keep going, guys. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Harry, Harry, Harry. And it's 3D. Isn't that cool? That's my favorite part, I think. You can see them stick out. All right, Misty said stop. Let's see what the new price is. And then she's got to go. And I got to go hop on her live. Um, California Thrifter, you won the planter number 46 for $20. You guys did so good. Okay, so you guys, um, it's time to go now because I've been on here too long. And you guys hop on over if you can. I know everybody's got stuff to do. Over to Missy's channel. She's going live at 4. Okay. And I hope you guys, I really, really, really appreciate you all. You don't know how much. I really do. And I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Stay home. Wear a mask. Be safe. All right, guys. Thank you so, so much. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.